What is a scene from a TV show that really disturbed you? The scene where House operates on himself in season 7. Breaking Bad, when Todd killed Andrea in front of Jesse, made my gut drop to the center of the earth just seeing Jesse scream in pain. Aaron Paul acted the hell out of that scene. In Heroes when Siler breaks into Claire's home, overpowers her, cuts open her head and rubs his finger along her brain to take her power. All while she is immobilized on the coffee table and unable to die because of her healing ability. Jesse Pinkman scene with the young boy on the couch in. Peekaboo. Knowing that kids live like that hurts me inside I had a friend whose mom was a crack addict and looking back I remember so much frocked up sit about being at his house. When the brother with bipolar breaks down in Ozark, then when his sister leaves the table in the restaurant and she's driving back and the phone rings and it's her brother and then it stops ringing and she knows he's dead. Frocking wrecked me. The actors were phenomenal in those scenes. So good. Such a good series too. I felt heavy and drained and so traumatized after these episodes. I have never felt like that after anything, but seeing that guy frocking nail that meltdown was quite incredible. Uh yeesh I actually had to turn on an episode of Modern Family after to lighten the mood after it. That absolutely bats it insane episode of X-Files with the inbred family living on the farm that had six with their deformed, amputee mother, helped her give birth, and buried the dead fetuses in the backyard. Edit. Episode is called Home and it's with the Peacock family. Had to dig that one out of my repressed memories because that episode scarred me as a kid. It was a Criminal Minds episode where a guy was kidnapping blonde teenagers as a substitute for his sister-in-law who he loved. He would tie them up and torture them with sulfuric acid. I was watching the episode on my iPad and when it went to commercial I caught my reflection in the screen. I looked so mortified and I think I ended up just reading the wiki summary. There's an episode of Fringe where a guy is trying to bring a dead girl back to life by stealing all of her donated organs back from people. And in one scene he hooks her corpse up to a bunch of ropes he has connected to a machine and makes it do a ballet dance. Awesome scene. Really well done. But super frocked up. Mash when the lady killed her baby so the enemy wouldn't hear it and kill everyone on the bus. Hawkeye tried to convince himself it was a chicken in his mind but finally admitted it as he was the one who told her to keep the baby quiet. In. The Tudors. The botched execution of Thomas Cromwell because Henry Cavill got the executioner drunk. Seven or eight tries to kill a man promised a clean death was pretty chilling. History tells us that was pretty close to how it happened too. Ramsay Bolton setting his dogs on Balda and his baby brother. It was pretty just when that's how he died as well but man that was rough. The seemingly endless rape scene in Outlander. You all know the one I mean. Dexter where he realizes his wife's in danger and runs in only to find her already murdered by the Trinity killer, and his baby in her blood, just like Dexter was sitting in his mom's blood. Hannibal scene where Guy is cutting off chunks of his face and feeding it to his dogs. The Bent Neck Lady, subplot of The Haunting of Hill House. The Sopranos, Rape Scene. Twin Peaks, Bob coming over the couch towards Maddie. I've watched that show too many times to count yet that scene scares me every time. Same with the thing behind the diner in Mulholland Drive. Edit. Thank you for the gold reddit buddy. The last scene in the second episode of Chernobyl. Where they have to go into the water. I hated that so much. And the view from halfway down from Bojack Horseman. I was not ready for that emotionally. Edited to add. I think Time's Arrow might be my favorite episode in the show. Which a lot of people have brought up. But it never really hit me as disturbing. For me. That episode added an entire extra world to that series. But it wasn't disturbing. I also loved Stupid Piece of Sit. Just because the writing is just brilliant. When Buffy finds her mom dead. For a show full of crazy supernatural elements that moment was just so realistic and relatable for so many people. The X-Files episode. Home. Criminal Minds when Hotch's ex-wife was killed. When he told his little boy to go play so he would hide in the cedar chest. OMG. Then the wife on the phone telling him to tell their son about her because she knew she was about to die. I'd lie in bed at night and have that scene in my mind. Downright haunted me. Homelander giving up on the hijacked plane in the boys. Just such dread from the people knowing they're about to die. When Lady Sybil dies shortly after giving birth in Downton Abbey, it's one of the most violent deaths I've ever seen on television. And the way her whole family is surrounding her, pleading for her to live, and there's absolutely nothing they can do. Wallace's murder on the wire. The episode of Breaking Bad where Pinkman finds the little redhead kid in the meth house. Breaking Bad. When the kid on the bicycle. Edit. Dirt bike. 
discover Walt. Jesse and Todd were performing the train heist and Walt and Jesse are stunned and don't know what to do so Todd takes over and kills the kid. Definitely a turning point when Jesse realizes just how far over his head he is in and his existence is pure dread and only gets worse. As it does for them all. In the boys. Anytime Homelander drinks milk. I was literally squeamish at those scenes and I never am bothered by movies. Oberon's head on Gott. Yuck. Freddy's death in skins. That scene will actually haunt me until the day I die. The Sopranos. When Ralph kills Tracy. CSI. Nick kidnapped and buried alive in casket. Biggest nightmare. Quit watching the show. I still sweat over that one. Oz. When the neo-Nazi dude that had a gum transplant that turned out to be from a black guy and then proceeded to scrape them off with a razor blade. The dentist was Jewish. He trolled that mug. Edit loved to see the Oz recognition. One of my all-time favorite shows for how mental it was at the time. I am sure it's different in the US but I doesn't seem well known in the UK at all reading the comments makes remember how much brutal sit there was. Should have just commented. Oz. Scrubs. My lunch. Where drive. Cox loses four patients. Just rips your heart apart but also shows the epic quality of acting within the show. The scene, episode of Chernobyl with the soldier assigned to hunt pets abandoned by evacuees. When he whistles and all the dogs come running. Game of Thrones when the direwolf's head sewn to Rob's body was shown. I felt sick. The moment that Theon becomes Reek. Also the moment when Marty gets his toenails ripped off in Ozark. The scene in Shameless where the mom slits her wrists. My mother committed suicide and I was the one who found her. Definitely had a terrible flashback. Edit. If anyone is struggling with mental health or just need someone to talk to, I'm always here for you. Orange is the New Black, Season 4 where Pussy was killed by a CO by suffocation during the cafeteria riot. That scene in The Simpsons when Homer's eyes crossed over completely. The fight scene in Deadwood where Dan is in a hand-to-hand -hand fight to the death and he pokes his thumbs into his opponent's eyes I can still hear the scream when I think about it. The scene in Criminal Minds where a serial killer dislocates all the joints of a woman and ties her up a, a marionette doll and dances her around while she is screaming. It went on for a minute or so. Chernobyl. When we first see the major effects of radiation poisoning on the firefighters. Game of Thrones. Talisa getting stabbed in her pregnant belly in the Red Wedding episode. Honestly the rape scene in Rick and Morty was pretty unsettling. Didn't see it coming at all. SpongeBob SquarePants's House Fancy episode. Specifically, the part where SpongeBob dropped the leg of a sofa on Squidward's foot and pulled it back, ripping what appeared to be a toenail out of his foot. End of Invincible's first episode. The twist hit me like a truck out of nowhere and it was more graphic than I thought the show would be since I went in blind. I don't have an issue with it, just wasn't ready for it to go down like that when they put me at so much ease with a team so much akin to the Justice League. The. Boar on the floor. Seen on succession. I felt R-E-A-A-A-A-L-L-Y uncomfortable and kind of scared the whole time watching it. Gemma using that fork on Terra in Sons of Anarchy. Bojack Horseman. Season 4. Episode 11. Times Arrow. The entire episode. There wasn't a single laugh in that episode. Not one time I frocking moved my face. Not one time I wasn't glued to the screen. I really don't want to give it away. But Bojack had every reason to. Tell off. His mother at the end but he didn't and given everything we saw prior to that ending. It somehow felt right. I'm never watching that episode again though. Once was enough. Bojack Horseman. S2. E11. The scene with Penny on the boat. I felt like I sit out my heart. Why did so many kids watch Breaking Bad WTF? Breaking Bad Season 2. Jesse witnesses a man's head explode as an ATM machine is dropped on it. Fear factor when the contestants had to eat all these live ass bugs off of a rope covered in honey hanging from the ceiling of a greenhouse. Then they had to like spit em out, blend em, and drink em. There were these giant green caterpillar looking things they shot out massive juice when they bit em. I'm usually all for the gross stunt but that one stuck out in my head as the first one to make me wretch. Edit. Here I am talking about fear factor and y'all listing some wild ass sit lol. I should have read the comments and checked the temp in the room first. I didn't know it was this kind of party. 1. Dexter walking into the bathroom to see his screaming baby sitting in his wife's overflowing blood made me angry. 2. Carol telling Lizzie to look at the flowers. Stunned me for about 10 minutes. 3. Locutus of the Borg showing up on the screen broke my heart and made me cry. Breaking Bad where Walter let Jess's girlfriend Jane die by choking on her own vomit in her sleep. He could have so easily saved her. Edit. 
although there were plenty of shocking moments. This was the real turning point in the series for me. This marked the point when his character and the series got really dark. Bad guys killing good guys and good guys killing bad guys is pretty standard fare. However, when a character that you thought was a pretty good guy kills someone who was basically a good guy or at least not a bad guy, that's always disturbing. Especially in this case, somehow. The rape scene in Downton Abbey, Anna and Mr. Green, still affects me very badly whenever I watch that show. The pig scene from Black Mirror's National Anthem. For those who don't know, the Prime Minister was blackmailed into having sex with a pig on national television in order for terrorists to release a princess they kidnapped. Icing on the trash cake? She was released 30 minutes before he had sex with the pig and he had no idea. I was and still am haunted by the Crown episode covering the Aberfan tragedy, which I had never heard of. Banda Brothers. When Easy Company stumbles across a concentration camp, and then they're told to stop feeding the starving prisoners because they'll literally eat themselves to death. That sit frocked me up. White Christmas from Black Mirror. Couldn't get it out of my head, and it's my most rewatched episode. The opening credits, first episode of Netflix's Mindhunter. Goddamn that show frocks you up just for spending the time to watch it. I've been reading this thread for two minutes and I'm already deeply traumatized. When Debbie's dumbass fell asleep and dropped her baby. Shameless. US version. A majority of the episodes from when Degrassi The Next Generation was actually good. Paige's rape and trail Emma almost being preyed on by a pedo Jimmy getting Shatteri's death Craig's manite's death. Far too much. The whole. Angels. Episode of Doctor Who really frocked me up as a kid. There was some episode in the show. Medium. I think it was called. The episode featured a child medium that predicted some rich guy having his mansion broken into and thugs killing him and his family. Because it was a child it was like drawn animation of monkeys as the thugs and family though the art was fairly graphic as I remember it. It spooked me pretty bad as a kid but now it probably wouldn't. Without question the toddler in Black Mirror. Crocodile. Wicked. Oz Hotel the creepy guy with the cone dig that rapes people. Saw a few minutes of it and didn't finish anything after that. Episode 4 of Full Metal Alchemist, Brotherhood. I've had so many friends rage quit the show after watching it. Rape scene in Bates Motel with Vera Farmiga. That really got under my skin. Season 9. Episode 1 of Grey's Anatomy when Mark Sloan dies. During the episode, his character's health devolves to the point the viewer realizes he will die. Shortly before he passes, Mark experiences a phenomenon called terminal lucidity which is a medical term that refers to a period of increased mental clarity and alertness during the dying process. The scene is particularly gut-wrenching for me to watch as I witnessed this happen to my father when he was in hospice care for terminal cancer. I'm a 40-year-old dude. My dad passed away 8 years ago, and that episode still brings me to full tears and ugly crying every single time my wife re-watches the series. The entire freak show season of American Horror Story especially the episode where it showed them dead and in jars. I wept the hardest I've ever cried at anything. I work with physically and developmentally disabled adults so that season just hit a nerve really bad. It's the only season one haven't seen all the way and absolutely refuse to. That Futurama episode where Seymour the dog waits for Fry for years in the elements. It disturbed me because there are animals out there that are ridiculously loyal to humans who in turn treat them like trash. The TWD season opener with Negan having Rick Grimes and company on their knees and bashed Glenn and Abraham. I wasn't ready. The rape of Edith Bunker in. All in the family. Walking Dead. Where Carl has to help deliver his own sister and subsequently his mom dies. He was just a little boy. Also. Where they eat Bob's leg. Also. Black sails where they cut Silver's leg off. Pedro Pascal getting his eyes popped out in Game of Thrones. Outlander, terrible terrible rape scene with Jamie. I had to turn the show off. Scandal when in First Lady Melly's flashback she was raped by her father-in-law. In a show that targeted a women audience and showed a lot of ridiculous, sensationalist, almost campy depictions of politics in six. The kinda show you half watch with popcorn and wine as Olivia Pope who can do no wrong bangs the cute married POTUS over and over. This scene was a big WTF. Shireen Baratheon getting burned alive on Game of Thrones. That scene with Ramsay and Sansa in Got. You know the one. Hannibal. So many scenes. Breaking Bad. Dude smoothie collapsing the ceiling. 